welcome to the first video I'm going to do on the LEC. If you haven't already watched my LPL and LCK power ranking videos, um, watch them. I'm doing weekly power rankings as well as every morning I am covering the games from, I mean the early morning for the LPL and LCK as well as I will be covering the LEC games after they're done and the LCS games after they're done in a uh, whiteboard format um, and kind of recap the game for you if you missed it in a shorter form than watching maybe a 40 minute game. So my uh, LEC priest and power rankings, week one power rankings if you will. Um, so I'm taking into account how teams did last year, how players did last year, changes, things of that nature, you know, how do they look. Uh, going to start 10th place, Astralis. Astralis uh, did nothing. They, Astralis did not do enough um, for me in the offseason to get better. Adding Kabe is not enough. Uh, Promise Q is not good. Uh, White Knight's not very good. The mid lane, they're still going to struggle. They are, um, they're going to struggle. Astralis, like, the only reason they're getting wins is because Zanzara once in a while can pull out a, a pocket pick and, and win them a game with some cheese, but otherwise, they're not, um, they're not winning. Uh, I am, I do not anticipate them competing for a playoff spot. Ninth place, I have SK. So, SK, I have in ninth place. Um, similar to Astralis, uh, I don't think they did enough this offseason. Um, this team is not built to compete with these guys at the top. Uh, Treats is a very, very, very good player. I mean, I said very quite a few times because, honestly, last spring I thought he may have been the MVP of the LEC. He was truly so valuable. And then they moved him to Jungler to just show how inept they are and then in the offseason SK got worse I mean by not getting better similar to Astralis 8th place Team BDS and you might say to yourself why is BDS above SK and Astralis a bunch of their players weren't in the league last year you're right that's why they're above them because honestly I don't know who the, what, the, what they're going to be they have Adam Adam's a good player uh, you might be toxic, apparently. I mean, who knows? But um, in terms of what they're going to bring this year, we don't know. Maybe they do end up between fourth and sixth. There is going to be openings here. But in terms of uh, comparison to the other team's bottom dwellers, there is a question mark here. I mean, they could finish 10th. They're very inexperienced. They could also finish higher. Seventh, I have XL. And you may say to yourself, he has XL here. XL didn't do a lot this offseason either. No, but I liked their moves in summer. I like Advian and I like Marcoon. I think they're two very good facilitators. They're aggressive, and that can win them games. Could lose you games, but also win you games. And I think that is going to beat teams that are worse than them and maybe sneak a couple games off of teams that are better than them. And... In that, I think they could actually maybe get to fourth or fifth in the spring based on what they have if those two players in Marcoon and Advian take the next step forward. Sixth place, I have Misfits. So Misfits, I think Harit in the top lane may be the best top laner in Europe. It's a bold statement. But I feel like last um, season, he showcased uh, a game that was getting better and better. And in 1v1 matchups, he was winning, despite the team around him falling apart. He's a very, very good player. Couple him with Bethio in the mid lane. I think Bethio, very solid mid laner, young mid laner, only getting better. I think this team is going to get better over the season. The other parts of it are where they're going to have troubles. But in terms of strictly solo laners, I think that's going to cause some problems with bands and things like that and maybe be able to get them into the playoffs. Fifth, similar to BTS, I don't know what to think of these guys. G2, they have Caps. Caps could win you games, no doubt. I mean, he's one of the best players in the world. Um, he could definitely win you games, but there's a lot of inexperience here. 
and I think that's going to be a problem for them. Broken Blade sometimes, <coughs> excuse me, Broken Blade sometimes can go off, and other times he is absent. Um, and then you got the bot laners, very very inexperienced. Um, they could lose some games. The loss of Mickey X is going to be a big deal, I think, as a facilitator with Yankos. Now Yankos has to facilitate by himself. I, I think they're going to struggle. Um, fourth, I have Rogue. Rogue, Mail Rang. The addition of Mail Rang is going to be a big question mark. I think Inspired is a top five jungler in the world. Um, the way he dominated the. Uh, now that Pathan. He dominated Pathan. He got ahead in ways that you wouldn't expect him to get ahead in games, and that created an advantage. For Rogue in most games. <coughs> Excuse me again. In most games. Uh, Larson in mid. Very good mid laner. A solid mid laner. Um, probably top three in the region. Couple that with Trimby. I think Trimby is solid. Rogue I think is in the fourth, fifth range. Um, this is probably the high, their ceiling. Um, unless their new players can you know, take the next step. Uh, third. At one point, I had these guys in another place. Jeez, this board is not, the board is not sturdy, so sorry, it took a second to write that. Um, upset and hilly. That's why they're there. Um, that bot lane can carry them to the uh, playoffs. That bot lane can carry them to Worlds. Um, very, very, very good bot lane. Um, Wonder in the top lane, going to be solid. Um, humanoid in mid. Um, jungle is where they're going to have a problem. Uh, Razor, let's see what Razor can do. Uh, they, I mean, that's the difference. If Razor is uh, solid and doesn't hurt them and just plays a solid game, they could win the LEC. Like, LEC is wide open, in my opinion, this year. Um, between these three, uh, it's there for the taking if they want it. Uh, second... A lot of people probably think this team would have been first. I do not have them first because, I mean, they have not shown us what they can do yet. Vitality. Is Perks back to the Perks he was or is he the Perks on C9? Sometimes he went off and sometimes he was retired. Um, Alfari, same way in top. Uh, they have very good players in the solo lanes. I mean, that's going to be the make or break for them. Uh, South made has to facilitate, has to help the bot lane. Lebrov is not that great of a support, in my opinion. Um, so, I think Karzi is not as good as what people think either. So, like, I could see a world where Fnatic and Vitality get a best of five and Fnatic beats them because the bot lane carries. Um, it's just kind of how it is. Like, I, I think that that is going to be their problem when it comes down to worlds and playoffs and things of that nature. Vitality will have problems um, in 2v2 bot lane matchups. And last but not least are the Mad Lions. So, Mad I have first. Arma, El Elioya, and Kaiser. Um, those are three very, very good players. Arma is um, maybe the second best top laner in the LEC behind Heret. Uh, he pulls out some pocket picks like the Wukong that can make a difference. Um, El Yoya is a eccentric jungler, can play anything for you, can carry games. He's only getting better over time. And Kaiser, Kaiser may be a top five support in the world. Might be the most underrated support in the world. Um, and that's why I'm saying Karzi, I think, it's not going to do as well because now he's not without Kaiser. I think there's going to be problems there. I think the Mad Lions have a chance to win the LEC, at least as it stands right now. I mean, hell, we could go into the first week and they could lose and I'll look like an asshole. But as of right now, going into week one, I have the Mad Lions first. So 10 through 1, Astralis, SK, BDS, XL, Misfits, G2, Rogue, Fnatic, Vitality, Mad Lions. Um, so... Thank you for watching. Uh, my LCS video will be up either tomorrow or the next day. Uh, I might do a video where I do like the top 10 teams that I think between the four major regions overall. Maybe do a video in regards to the top players. Um, 
check back every morning for my LPL and LCK content. Well, late morning, midday, depending on when I can upload it and get it recorded. Um, as well as uh, you came for the LEC, so I'm going to be doing LEC videos too. So thank you for watching and come back for more content.